today's video we take a look at the M50 Ontos Wargaming's brand new invention uh, within World of Tanks console. We're going to be looking at what this tank can do in the game. Of course being a very very novel tank we have not seen any tanks really like this other than the M113 which is of course the tech tree version of the kind of tank I guess the closest matchup of this one. Uh, it gets six 105 millimeter cannons on this thing with 390 damage per shot it has a six clip autoloader as you can see by these massive barrels uh, that the tank features it's like having rpgs attached to your tank uh, it really is a very novel and interesting build and we're going to have a look at some gameplay show you how it plays within the game and whether or not you should part with your hard earned cash uh, to get this machine into your garage let's go into that gameplay now so of course our first game is here on Redshire in the M50 Ontos. We're going to be having a look at what this thing can do. Obviously it depends very much on the tank itself and how well you can position yourself within the various different maps and whether or not you can really get this tank going because I found in a couple of games you just don't have uh, the right kind of tools at least with the tank uh, to be able to maybe take up the role that Wargaming suggests you should be in this tank considering it's meant to be a sniping tank. Uh, there's one very very major uh, concern that I have with the tank and the one kind of major downfall or problem that you will probably face if you manage to pick up this tank. Now one problem that maybe you might encounter within this tank is of course the gun arc. Yes it does have a limited gun arc so no you cannot just focus one area of the map. You do actually have to turn your hull of your tank which means that you're going to be affecting your camo factor and so you won't be able to uh, get away with as much. Now you can just see how fast this gun can sing especially when you find those opponents right in front of you and you can just pick up just so much damage within one singular clip especially if you manage to unload but what you did notice there was that actually the speed at which this tank fires its rounds and that is the one problem uh, that I find with it the shell velocity or the f travel speed of the shell by the time you click fire and when it actually lands uh, it's very very long um, with the heat rounds so they are very very um, slow moving heat rounds I don't know quite how well the HE rounds or the HESH rounds that you can get in this thing with pretty mediocre penetration you ain't going to be penning very much so I wouldn't really recommend actually firing any premium uh, or, or HE rounds even in this tank because you know it's not worth it in case you actually miss and you can see rounds going in, someone decides that they're going to get in the way of course. That's one thing that I have noticed with this tank is just people getting in the way constantly. Uh, you'll notice that in the second gameplay that we've got for you today. Um, but you know we can still pull out a decent game, a decent result and you can see that we picked up 1600 damage at the beginning. Now the one thing that I found very very nice about this tank is you can have mediocre games, you can have pretty lacklustre games, you can basically do pretty darn average but you can still earn a ton of silver and I guess if you're interested in making a ton of silver then this is the tank for you. It boasts a 65% silver bonus earn up and when you put that with some of the earn ops that you can actually get or the operations or limited time operation things that come into the game if you put them all and you stack them all up I wouldn't be surprised if you can get nigh on 800,000 in a fantastic game in the tank and on average probably 400,000 if you have a pretty standard game within the tank. And that's with a double um, silver boost of course, um, maximum you'll probably ever receive in, in one singular game without having to have like a, a stupidly ridiculous silver bonus would be something like probably 800,000 like we mentioned a minute ago. But of course this game isn't probably going to be one of those unfortunately for you um, but we have had limited time to be able to fully uh, get out the tank of course we're running it with advanced concealment and you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the map you can see just how low that concealment factor is and whilst we're talking about it you can see just how good and how fast this damage can actually be racked up when you get consecutive hits on enemies now I do have to note that although this tank is very very slow, although it has comparatively to the rest of the tanks in Cold War, you know it's not necessarily slow if you were to stick it in World War 2, um, but it definitely on the Cold War game mode it is very very slow. 
but what it does boast is of course that concealment factor like we've talked about and having the ability to outspot a lot of the opponents given that the light tanks have just all been nerfed with their concealment factors you pretty much don't get spotted by light tanks unless you're firing uh, which is very very nice especially when you're playing in something like this however you know considering it's meant to be stealthy and when you fire you get of course limited camo um, because it blooms out and therefore you're more likely get to get spotted becomes a real problem. So of course that game we picked up 4,200 damage, not particularly the biggest game, but you saw we actually earned 200,000. Now we'll move into a ace tanker gameplay within the tank that we can actually showcase what it's like when you really do get that gun sing and you can rack up uh, some pretty meaty amounts of damage. Now... Moving into Fisherman's Bay, which is the first map that you'll be able, um, well, one of the maps that you can play in Cold War, and of course this is what we, we managed to get on, probably in the fifth game, this is the fi final game that I did actually play in the tank before we uh, decided to make this video, I thought, you know, we've given it a little bit of a test out, we can see exactly what sort of playstyle you want to be using, and it certainly took those couple of first games to get used to the tank, because the shell velocity, trust me, you won't understand it, unless you play it it really is terrible and you do actually have to lead your shots so much uh, in order for you to actually be able to hit consistently you see here on a mobat considering he's pretty close we have to aim very very uh, far forward in front of him for when the shell actually eventually lands where it should do um, and yeah it's kind of a little bit annoying uh, for us to consistently get that damage of course we picked up yet again only 730 damage uh, but that's just because we've only managed to hit two shots. Now, the one thing that you'll find pretty annoying about the tank is of course if you don't manage to get off all six shots into your opponents or because of the shell velocity time delay that you have uh, you have definitely an annoying amount of time between when you actually fire and when it actually um, fully engages the target and manages to either pen or bounce or just miss which tends to happen on Cold War for some reason it's uh, very very derpy in terms of <laughs> whether or not your shell actually hits at long range Ranges. Now the Mobat here, of course he's pushing up, we're only 135 metres, make that 100 metres and he still doesn't spot us at 90 metres and that's because of course we have that ridiculous concealment and that is what you can take advantage of if you are playing properly within this tank. Of course if you're just doing it for the meme value and you're just rolling on down just to try and get as much damage as possible uh, in one singular clip then I guess you know each to their own but for me it really wasn't what we were after. Now that Sheridan has been a pain in the backside for two games. He's rammed into me in both singular games that I've played in. Um, he's obviously, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, um, but yeah, it has been an absolute nuisance within these last couple of games. Don't know if it was someone who recognised me. No idea. Um, probably not, but you know, there's plenty of people in the game that just uh, can't drive apparently. Now of course we have the T72M1 here. And this is where the gun just gets singing, it's so, so good. Uh, yet again, Sheridan drives straight in front of us, it's the same guy. Um, obviously that can't be really calculated, he probably didn't know I was going to do that, but it was annoying. You can see me frustrated there um, that we didn't manage to get another shot off against some of these. What we do have to do now though, is make sure we make our shots count, because... We've got 36 rounds, which is more than enough to take out a lot of tanks within this game. Um, but what we don't have is the time. We're going to be caught a little bit sh short if we don't manage to pen a lot of these shots that are going in against the opponents. That's because, of course, the enemy team is starting to advance on our right. They're going to get us in a pincer manoeuvre, which is, of course, not what you want in World of Tanks. The sausage sandwich, as I'd like to call it. Um, yeah, it's just something I wouldn't really recommend within the game. And I think when you manage to get yourself out of a sausage sandwich and into something more like where you're doing the sausaging, that's probably where it's better. Now... This is where I decide to get into the bushes. This is probably where you'll be spending a lot of your time in this tank, and so if you're interested in super aggressive tanks, then this definitely isn't one of your um, most suited tanks that you want to be getting within the game. Now, when you're in these bushes, you want to make sure that you aren't firing as and when you get spotted by opponents, because it can be a real problem. Um, 
when you do get spotted because you're pretty slow, you can't reverse very fast. Uh, you can't really go ver forward very fast because the acceleration is awful, um, which makes the tank somewhat situational. You know, when you get spotted, you need to make sure you are moving pretty darn quick and moving out of the way, out of the fire, putting yourself in between obstacles between you and your opponent, which is, of course, what you should be doing in any singular game. But it's very important that you actually do think about that within a tank like this because you know if you don't it is literally the matter between life and death with this tank because of course you have absolutely no armor in this thing i mean no surprise really there um but yeah you really don't have armor whatsoever now the m well basically the mobat has decided he's going to come and try and uh, get us we of course have to lead this is kind of the perfect position for you to be able to get damage with this tank um, unfortunately the mobat manages to set us on fire which is actually really really annoying uh, but we won't take it to heart too much we're now just going to keep on moving and because we have such great concealment we can probably get undetected pretty quickly with this tank and that's something that I don't see very many people take advantage of that much within Cold War is the ability to quickly um, basically get undetected um, I think that's something that you need to harness if you're going to play in the game mode and of course if you are wanting to maximise the silver that you're earning within these game modes now, moving back to the topic of the gameplay itself, where well, we are now two versus three, they've got fairly decent hit points, so we try and go for a little blind fire on that one. I didn't want to do any more because we don't know quite how much health the other medium tank is on their team. I think it's the M60A1 pattern rise that we now see is hightailing out of the way and over to our right, which is nice because we can now go off in against the two tanks that we definitely have more than enough clip potential to be able to take out. And that is where this tank comes in real clutch because when you're coming up against things that basically have no armor and aren't going to be able to compete against you, um, or at least with the clip potential this is where you can put in this damage uh, super super quickly and where you're going to be able to just take out multiple tanks all in one go you can see here we just only managed to get one because our Sheridan on our team who bumped into us multiple times has taken out the enemy tank and managed to pen him with a either a missile or something like that on the Sheridan uh, taking out all of that hit points now, of course, what we'll do is just use the camo, get in between a couple of bushes, and of course, we've outspotted the M60A3. We put one into him, manages to go into his tracks, and then we finish him off one and a half seconds later with the intraclip reload, and we manage to pick up the victory in a two versus three situation. Not particularly a very hard one, granted, uh, but yeah, we managed to pick up a win, and of course, we did come top. 6,925 damage, five kills, 1,642 base experience not bad uh, not particularly the highest damage game you'll probably ever see 250,000 silver base so that's with no xp boosts or no silver boosts um, so it's pretty a decent result to be honest uh, well nigh on well 8,400 damage combined which is very very nice and of course yeah picking up that silver if we had a times two would have easily been 500,000 silver from one singular game which is fantastic it's definitely the way I'd want to go and with that 65% bonus silver or not that this tank gets it really is crucial I hope you did enjoy this video if, if you did make sure to hit that like button and if you want to check out some other Cold War premium videos if you want to check out other World War 2 videos or you want to check out the latest update news where you can pick up some free tanks they should all be on screen right now hopefully you'll catch me in one of those videos and you did enjoy this one Subscribe if you want and like the video if you did like it and I hope to see you in one of those videos. Goodbye.